Hey guys, how's it going? So recently, one of my friends switched from MacBook to a Windows PC for certain reasons, and obviously the experience was kind of lackluster. I mean, he was missing certain features that Mac OS offers that just aren't there on Windows. Well, I decided to help him out and bring some of those functionalities to Windows. You know, features like Apple's Preview, a Spotlight, and more things like that. Now, wouldn't you want to know how to get those features on your Windows 10 PC? Well, this is Varun from Guiding Tech, and today I'll show you how to get six of cool, amazing macOS features on your Windows 10 PC for absolutely free. Let's get started. So let's kick things off by talking about Spotlight, which is without a doubt one of the most used features on macOS. Now, usually I would recommend you to install an app like Launchy or Vox on your Windows 10 PC, but as it turns out, Microsoft already has a new alternative for it. So what you need to install is Microsoft PowerToys. Once you finish installing, launch the PowerToys app and enable the toggle next to PowerToys Run. And that's it. You can launch it by pressing Alt and Space together. Now, similar to Spotlight, you can use it to launch apps, search for files, and even do mathematic calculations. Next up, we have screenshots. Now, taking screenshots on macOS is equal parts complicated and equal parts simple. Thankfully, on Windows, things are a lot more streamlined. And the best part is that you don't need to install any external app. Okay, so the first thing is normal screenshots. On a Mac, you do it by pressing the Command plus Shift plus three keys together. On Windows, all you need to do is press the Windows and Print screen together, and your screenshot will be stored to your Pictures folder. Now, Mac users also love that screenshot editor, right? You know, the one you launch by pressing Command, Shift, and 4. Well, on Windows, it's just a single key away, and all you have to do is change a little bit of settings. Press the Windows I to launch settings, and then click on Ease of Access. Now, in the left column, scroll all the way down and click on Keyboard. Now, under the Print Screen shortcut, Enable the toggle next to use the print screen button to open screen sniping. And that's it. So unlike Mac where you have to press three different keys together on Windows, all you need to do is press the print screen and it will launch the snippet tool. You can use it to highlight a portion of the screen you wish to capture or use the buttons up top to easily capture a screen or window as well. Next up, we have Quick Look, which is the closest alternative to Mac OS's preview. It works in the same way and you would feel just at home with using Quick Look on your Windows PC. So download and install the app from the link in the description box. Once you've done that, it works just the same way as Preview. Just press the spacebar on your files to preview, or in this case, take a quick look at them. It works with images, videos, PDFs, zip files, and whatnot. Okay, now one of the most underrated features of macOS is Hot Corners. So for those of you who are not aware what Hot Corners does is basically you can just drag your cursor, not drag actually, just move your cursor to one of the corners on your screen and you can customize the shortcuts to basically show all the apps open, show just the desktop, launch mission control and whatnot. It's super convenient and the best part is you can get it easily on Windows as well. So in order to use it, first download the 7-zip file of WinX Corners, which will be linked in the description box below and extract it. Now launch the WinX Corners file. You won't see a window, but it will be loaded in the system tray. So open up your quick settings and double click on the icon over there. You can now assign shortcuts to each of the four corners as per your liking. So in my case, I've set them to show all the windows, show the desktop, show the action center, and finally start the screensaver. Now, as you can see, it works pretty well. Next up, we have Apple's coolest feature yet, which is AirDrop. So for that, you need to enable Windows nearby share, uh, sorry, yeah, yeah, let's be honest, nearby sharing is a massive joke. Windows tried doing that, but it just does not work. So yeah, I'm not talking about nearby sharing, but here's a better way around it. Just open up sharedrop.io or snapdrop.net on the web browser of both the devices. You can use either services. Both are equally good and work on the same principles, which is that the data is seamlessly transferred from one device to another without actually being uploaded to any server. Now using it is quite simple. Once both the devices are connected to the same network, just click on the receiver's icon, select the files you want to send, and that's it. Now the only downside to this is that both the devices need to be on the same Wi-Fi network. So in case there is no Wi-Fi network available, you can just create a hotspot with your phone, connect your laptop to that, and then do this whole process. 
Now, obviously, it's not as convenient as the actual AirDrop facility, but then again, there are some things that Apple just does perfectly, and you know, Windows is just catching up. Okay, now speaking about things that Apple is great at, one of the best features that I like about the Apple ecosystem is that whatever notifications that you get on your iPhone are directly mirrored on your MacBook as well. Well, at least that's one place where Windows has caught up, and the Your Phone app definitely manages to do that and a bit more as well. Now, in order to use it, you need to first download the Your Phone app on your phone and log in with the same Microsoft ID as is logged into your PC. Once you've done that, launch the apps on both your PC and your phone and follow the on-screen instructions to set things up. Now that you've done that, you will get all the phone's notifications on your screen. You can also directly SMS from your PC using the messages features, or you can transfer photos as well. And that's not where the fun ends. With inline replies, you can use this to even reply to WhatsApp or Instagram DM notifications. Pretty cool, no? And with that, we come to the end of this video. As always, you can find the download links to all of the software that I mentioned in the description box below. Also, if you like this video and would like to see more content, make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more awesome tech content. Till then, this is one from Guiding Tech and I'll see you in the next one.